Right now at Chanhassen Dinner Theater, you can see the classic tale of King Arthur. And joining us today is Keith Rice, who plays King Arthur in the show to tell us more about it. Keith, thanks so much for coming in. You're welcome. Thank you. And so you play King Arthur. This is not your first time, though, appearing in Camelot. You were a Lancel <laughs> Lancelot at one time prior. I was Lancelot in nine different productions. Oh, wow. So it started in 79, which gives away my age. <laughs> but then... As I went through the years, I kept doing Lancelot, Lancelot. I think my final Lancelot was when I was 47. Okay. So what's it, what is it like playing King Arthur then now? Oh, it's incredibly different. To see it through the eyes of King Arthur, the whole show, it's, it's this beautiful show of hope. And, and uh, I always wanted to do this show. I, I, I got, when I was seven years old in New York, my mother had bought the record, brought it home, played it for me, and sure. I went, who is that singing? And the first thing I hear is, if ever I would leave you. And I oh went, my oh my gosh, I got to sing like Robert Goulet. And then I heard Richard Burton, and it was like, uh, it's true, it's true. The crown has made it clear. And I went, oh, I got to talk like that too. So at seven years old, I got the bug. And uh, I was put into opera class and, and uh, started doing opera. My first uh, major... Uh, audition was I was 11 years old for Lincoln Center. Wow. Audition for a model in the night oh visitors. And I was Did this you get little the part? boy singing like this. Well, this will break your heart now because they told me I had the part. Oh no. Of a model, the lead. And I went home and I learned the show in a week, <laughs> memorized the whole thing. And then I said, Mom, you know, they, they, they told me I got the show. You should call. And she said, Honey, they hired a professional. <laughs> So everybody oh. cry, cry for me right now. Yes. It seems to have worked out for you, though. You persevered and yes. it gave you some character. So yes. for, a, for people who are maybe not familiar with Camelot, this is a story, this is a romantic story, but Very much your so. character, your, your queen doesn't necessarily uh, stay so true to you. Well, she does, actually. The whole thing of the, uh, the plot twist of the uh, Lancelot and Guinevere is pushed so far. It, it, the actual truth is that they never do consummate their love affair. Mm. It's all from afar. Mm. And they do, there is flirting and everything else, but there's really, the thing about Arthur is he wants to keep those he loves with him. And he doesn't want that to destroy his vision of what Camelot eventually would be with mm. this, which is this wonderful honor and right and justice. And, and uh, that's his whole thing. So he does stay with her. They sing, uh, what do the simple folks do just before the end of the, the second act? And they're still... It's Which is pretty it. remarkable when you think about a king. I mean, normally, you know, he would off with her head, even, yes. even just a slight suspicion. It's true. And he <laughs> says that to king Merlin. Arthur. No, not Arthur. No, well, we have to remember, too, he was a squire originally. He was just this little boy. He was this, he was this young 18-year-old kid, according to this production, who said, uh, well, I don't want to go home and grab that sword, so I'm going to stop at this little place and grab this sword that's in a stone. And he goes and he pulls it out, and all of a sudden everybody's yelling, the king, the king, the king. And, the, and he goes, what? And then he looks down and he sees the sword written with letters of gold, and he's the king. Wow. So wow. really quickly, before we finish up, you moved here from New York about 25 years ago. So why did you stay? Why did you stay in Minnesota? I love the people. I love the school system. I have two children. Mm -hmm. yeah. Love the school system. And I wanted a place of stability. And uh, I found that all in Minnesota. It's very King Arthian. <laughs> <laughs> and with that, what a way to end the interview. Yes, Keith, absolutely. Thank you so thank much. Camelot is now playing now through February 25th at the Chanhassen Dinner Theaters. Tickets cost $50 to $85. We have information on the show at WCCO.com slash links. I really want you to stick around because I just, I love your voice. I want you to do the rest of the show. As just, King Arthur once yes. said, travel, travel north. <laughs> Thanks for joining us this afternoon and good luck with the show. Oh, my, thank Matt, you. <laughs> be Matt. that, Matt. I, I be can't. That. You know, he referenced Robert Goulet, so he's fine with me. That was incredible. <laughs> I'm okay with being upstaged after that.